Hello, in this video I will share with you how to map an enum type or enumeration type in Java to a column in database with JPI and Hibernate framework. In details, I will share with you how to map a Java enumeration type to a column in a database with two cases. In the first case, the column stores character or string values and in the second case, the column stores a number of values. Here I have an existing Java project that uses JPI and Hibernate framework. As you can see, this is the entity class user that maps to the user table in the database. And it has this uh, fields ID, email, first name, last name, password. This fields uh, map to the corresponding uh, columns in the database here. Here in my SQL workbench. Uh, we have the user table with the columns ID, email, first name, last name, and password here. And I want to update this table to have a new column to store the information about the gender of a user. So, uh, first in uh, Java, uh, I want to create a new enumeration type. So, create a new uh, enum here. Name is gender. And uh, in this uh, enum type, we have uh, three values, uh, male, female, and uh, other. And in the database, I want to store the value as uh, number. For example, one for male, two for female, and three for other. So in the database, I need to enter this user table here add a new column yeah, gender and the uh, data type is integer or small int small int yeah because uh, the values can be one two or three and click apply to create this new column gender in the users table okay now in the entity class uh, I will show you how to map this enum type enum type gender to the column in the database uh, with the values uh, and number so here uh, with JPI and Hibernate we use this annotation mm. Enumerated, enumerated here, and then the field name, and gender, and gender, and uh, to store the values as a number, we uh, specify the addition uh, parameter for the enumerated annotation is ordinal here. To tell Hypnet to store the values at uh, number in the order of the values in the enumeration type, enum type here. Okay, and we generate the getter and set the methods for this uh, gender field in this entity class. Generate. Okay, so that's for the entity class. We use the uh, enumerated uh, annotation, and the type of the field is an enum type gender here. And to test, uh, we have the test class is the repository test here. As you can see, I'm using uh, Spring Boot, and this here is Spring Data JPA test class, and this. Uh, test create user method we will uh, proceed a new user object into the database and now with the new enum type we need to set the gender for the user uh, let me change the okay let me uh, delete all the rows in this table here select rows here delete from 
tail is uh, where ID worth the Zen zero and execute this sequence statement and select uh, rows from this table again and you see we have one uh, user Ravikuma here now let me uh, update the code to set the gender for this user object user set gender yeah I want to set the gender of this user is yeah, male here yeah. that's it and I run this uh, test method using a JUnit test here okay you see the test has passed successfully here with the green check mark here and let me check the database yeah. execute this select statement again and you can see uh, the user Alex has been inserted into the database here and you can see the value for the gender column is zero here uh, meaning uh, zero is the uh, ordinal number of the first uh, value of this uh, enum type male here and now let's update the test to create a second user Zen Zen Jane or what? Sorry, first name is Jane and last name is what? And now we want to specify the gender is female here yeah? and uh, run the test again. So you can see it's very simple to map an uh, enum type in Java to a column in the database with JPN Hibernate. Okay, the test has passed successfully and let's check the database and you can see as uh, the user gen or what here and you can see the value for the gender column is now one uh, which is the uh, original number of the uh, value uh, female in the gender enum type here uh, and we have the second test method test by user by email here and let uh, retrieve a uh, user object from the database and uh, to see the value of the gender enum type so I choose email here and here I print the gender of the user System dot out dot print line user event gender. Sorry, yeah, gender and run this test method. Okay, and successful, and you can see in the control view it prints gender female here. The value is the uh, name of the uh, enum here, name of a value in the enum type gender here. You see. Next, I want to update the uh, entity. A class user to have a new view for the authentication type so I get a new enum type here mm, authentication provider and uh, this uh, enumeration type has these values local Facebook or GitHub, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Okay. 
and I need to create a new column in the user table here. So enter this table and add a new column here. And this time we want to um, store the string value for this uh, art provider column. Vacha length is 10 character. Okay, click apply. Apply. Okay, and we have the column art underscore driver here that stores the string values for the, the authentication provider for our user. So in this entity class, we use a enumerated annotation and enum type is string to tell hybrid and jpa to use the string value the name of the values in the uh, enumeration type here to start to be stored in the database private authentication provider not provider and we generate get and set a methods for that new field generate okay and we update the test methods to insert a new user mm. now we set the authentication type for this user is authentication provider dot facebook and i uh, uh, delete the existing user users in the database okay so we have no users here now let's run this test method test create user successful and let's check the database and you can see the value for the art underscore provider column is now a string facebook here yeah. gender is uh, one uh, female and let me uh, create another user to me to Show me oh, what gender is uh, email and authentication provider of is user is uh, Google, for example, and uh, run this test method again. Successful. So, and let's check the database and you can see in the second row for the user Tommy and you can see the value for authentication provider is Google here then is zero meaning male here and uh, similarly if you run the test file user by email method you can check the value of the authentication provider here we print the authentication provider authentication provider and run this test file user by email method successful so and in the console view you can see it prints gender female authentication provider facebook of the user zen so you see it's very easy simple and easy to map an enumeration type and type in java 
to a column in the database and just use the enumerated annotation with uh, enum type is either ordinal for number values or string for character values that's how to map an enum type in java to a column in the database with jpa and hibernate i hope you found this video helpful please subscribe and then like comment and share this video thanks for watching